first solo Twitch stream. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Solo Twitch stream. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Adam, it's playing it back to me. Says offline. All right, Joe, it's time to find that statue and all this junk. What? It says it's working? Oh well, continues to say I'm offline. We'll see what happens. Oof. I just wonder if that means people will be watching me and I can't even tell. And you always need rope in adventure games. The stairway is closed for repairs. Because <laughs> of course I would be up in the fourth floor of this building without actually being able to get up there because the stairway is closed. These folks don't look familiar. Uh oh. Oops. I'm not sure what's going on with the floor that you can just fall down that quickly. Better get that roof checked. Indeed, indeed. Let's get a copy of a Siamese idol. And one real cat. I'm glad you're telling me that because I had no idea I was searching for anything. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. So I think this is one of the rarer instances in adventure games at least where you play through the credits. Indeed? You don't look at our bag, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Especially when they don't have real floors and ceilings. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. <laughs> Obviously. But I believe. Opening a new chapter in history. Because why else would it have been stored in a basement storage locker? My word. In the first room. A little bit jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Red is the same. Why would you want to do business with a dubious man named Mr. Smith with an obvious German accent if your name is Indiana Jones? Could not say. Don't worry, he got the jacket. He but we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, he demands some sort of agent for the third Reich. What is the spy? Nazis, I did not see that coming. <sighs> I 
my mind, Marcus. I don't think it's a moment. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friends carry. I don't copy the National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro excavation. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston. Who's his first Boston. real job? I'm surprised he doesn't look younger in this photo. she know? She gave up archaeology to become a psych. How odd. You could say that again. Indy, Kona found you. What if he finds her? We should warn her. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Adjust some of these settings because it's a little difficult to hear the voices. Let's try that. I can't make a call, I'm out of nickels. Oof. Rough not having any nickels. Adam, I'm gonna assume that you're the second person watching on this. The what is really loud? Yeah, it is. I already tried changing that. Um, let's try it again. What now? This ain't no ticket office. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. So there's actually three different ways that you can reach Atlantis in this game, and how you solve the puzzle of getting into the theater is an indication of which way. Yeah, I believe I believe you are the second person. Uh, the way you solve this puzzle does that mean you don't want me to talk to you? <laughs> the way you solve this puzzle is an indication of which direction the game thinks you should take in the future. Although it actually doesn't matter. Oh, of course not. Madam Sophia is a serious thinker. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. The big burly bouncer at the theater. His idol is a psychic. Yeah, she's very smart. Smart? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... She... The way she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Call that fraud over here, will you? You're insulting a goddess, mister. That goddess used to be a scientist. She can talk to ghosts, you know. Who needs science? Hold on! You can't go out there! Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. Five thousand years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the <laughs> mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to rocket the city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described <laughs> how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Excuse me. Shh. She's, She's just coming to the exciting part. So the game makes me what think that I can actually choose to do things, but really I am sure. required to but watch these extended cutscenes. Slowly creeping higher, 
or the earth itself suddenly shifting. However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit... Let's hope something remains, or this might be a really boring the game. The all-seeing sound is silence. I've been, been doing this a hundred times. times. The, the woman, woman never starts. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't, Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Don't, Don't you have, have any hobbies? hobbies? Sure, I read! <laughs> but what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Definitely think that you should be doing your hobbies instead Here. of working right now. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? So we'll just smug here out a little bit. Nothing can go wrong here. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sound, the great Atlantean god Isn't that rope super obvious to people? The sea. Oh, I'm not wearing headphones, that's why. Indiana Jones! You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. Is that better, Adam? I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Okay. No one here. Nor here either. Cause you looked so hard. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Ubermann announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been dealing goods on the black market. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. I think she's a superhero. She managed to change into her adventuring you know? outfit in about one second. Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Well, that seemed kind of like a waste of more calcum to me. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Also, how did Klaus ransack this apartment and not find that bead? Don't try your psychic act on me. 
Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Who knows where these beats really came from? Shh! I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... what? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. It's not in any library I've ever been in. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Well, if the Nazis did it, we must do it! Why Iceland? Why not Florida, where it's warm? Maybe the Atlanteans didn't like tourists. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. See, if it was in Florida, we could have entered uh, some like it hot situation. Dr. Heimdall. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Pretty soon I'm going to have music on one, and it's still going to be super loud. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously now I'm not. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped Puppycock them? Puppycock needs to be... Uh, worked back into modern language, I think. Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no! They were stopped by a first field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Adam, I'm glad you like my commentary. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Athos Island. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp traitor. So long. So we could take the opportunity to ask him more about the strange beings and hyperbony or what have you. But this is about Atlantis. We don't care about those things. Let's head for the airport. So the first place that we're going to head to is Tikal. And because I'm Indiana Jones, I gotta rough it through the jungle. But it is a good time to use my whip. That critter's too far away. If I can get close enough. I'm surprised there's no warning message at the bottom that says no animals were harmed in the making of Good this Good old game. Mother Nature. So, what are the chances that we're going to encounter some snakes on our hike through the jungle? Apparently very wow, little since we already sick the snake on Hi, the uh, Indy. jungle rodent. Hello. Could be wrong, but that might be the last real snake we've seen in this game. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Smart. Let's look around. Okay. Stop! 
Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Who says? Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no! Hmm, <laughs> you think he could be a little more creative in his naming? What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indians built it. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Why aren't we allowed inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Is this what tourists generally wear? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I have to confess, I played this game before I saw Indiana Jones in The Last Crusade. So, that came off as a bit of a spoiler to me. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The sure. Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron! <laughs> Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. A monument to the genius of the Mayans. Stop! Excuse me, the Let's temple isn't again. open to the public. Apparently Listen. Tetrahedron was yes. not the right choice last time. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Unfortunately, I, I don't have to title. admit that Plato. I don't know. Well, at least you're an honest man. Luckily, this parrot knows everything. Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! Stop! Sorry, old boy. Only accredited researchers are allowed in. I'm not sure why he gives me three opportunities to figure out the Listen. his puzzle, yes. but I'll go along with it. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it! Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Sophia, let's talk. It's a good thing I'm traveling with a companion, because... What's up? I do need her sometimes. Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. And now I'm definitely not going to go around stealing things. Because that's something you never do in an adventure game. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Nothing at all, I so swear. You took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Which means I can I clearly just pull it off Mom. the wall. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing. It's a really bizarre looking elephant. Look at that. Astonishing. Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king. Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait! Oh, yes, no, I have he the got thing. away! So that means that he knew that this temple had a world stone? 
And only Too that? Bad for Sternhardt. He wonder missed how he figured that out. Alright, so we've found another ah! piece of orichalcum after we wasted the first one. Let's find the airport. And we're gonna it's waste the second one. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can actually use that. Too bad. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. He decided that it... That it wasn't what he was looking for, and he's crying? Or is he sleeping? Can't really tell. Let's head for the airport. Well, now we're going to check out that the other person he recommended we talk with. This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? This better be important. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. What was so impolite about what I said? Excuse me. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. So now I get to control Sophia. But I don't think there's a whole lot I can do as her. Let's get out of here. Maybe not. Oh, apparently control immediately switches Let's back make some to Sophia. Travel plans next time, Sophia. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Listen. Yes. Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> okay. Mr. Costa. Sadly, knock is not one of my verbs. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> the only thing that I have learned from this is that he's much he's pretty sexist. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. We need some help from you. Happy to oblige. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll Ooh. never trade away my necklace. Nice try. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madame. Don't be a stranger now. 
What a charming old man. Trade, huh? Listen. Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I feel like I shouldn't be given the option to trade away my full whip. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but the lost dialogue of Plato is in the Sprague collection, got that? I think so, the Sprague collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Sprague Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Sprague Collection. Uh-oh, something sinister. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Corona, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess! We must test! My God! We've done it! The energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel! Think big like the Americans! Think of bombs! So, I kind of wonder what happens to that statue after it goes through a several feet cement wall. Does it just keep trucking through? Blowing holes and everything it meets until it ends up in the ocean? So why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? You can't go with me. You don't have tenure. Fine. Rub my nose in it. I'll meet you in your office. <laughs> she actually sounds upset that she doesn't have tenure, despite not being a professor. All right, let's go start looking at things. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. <laughs> Again, worst layout ever. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Nope. No more collections down here for me to explore.
an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. It sure is gooey. I like that he bets on something and it just automatically happens. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. I we found what we're looking for. It's made out of wax. A cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. So there's only two real idols. One's made of wax and one was a real cat. Alright. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. The I'm lost sure. dialogue of Plato. I'm sure there's no problems with me throwing a book in a furnace. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Sternhardt probably could have told us a lot. Sternhardt's long gone. I'd sooner trust my spirit guide. She might be right. Plato's the one to trust, I think. Oh, so Atlantis vanished 1,000 years before Plato instead of 10,000. How does that help us? We may not find Atlantis in the Atlantic at all. Where then? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? <laughs> Of course, the lost dialogue could still be a fake. Apparently Plato is really bad at math. No, it sounds real. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Don't push this too far, Sophia. Will you just shut up and listen to me? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Why should he help us? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take, together, as a team. Alright, so I'm going to save here, because this is the point at which you actually get to choose which path you do. And for this one, All I'm right, going to go I'm ahead with what she you said can come to along. do. Then let's go, partner. Bring in Sophia along. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. I'd say as far as Indiana's love interests go, she's not quite as annoying as Willie, but she's pretty up there. Alright, so first we're going to check out Monte Carlo. 
I have to admit, I actually don't remember which one <laughs> is the first one to go to. Well, here we are. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier we're after. But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. Okay, I'll try to find him. Good. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A seance? I'll go get ready. Oh boy. Alright, now we gotta look for the one that looks like an Atlantis nerd. Man, they walk fast. Just a moment, please. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Finally, somebody who recognizes us. Well, that's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the book of changes indicated, who oh, well, simply put, a change. And here, I bump into you. Ah, uh, what good fortune. Of course, the one guy who recognizes us is kind of a nutcase. Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams. To persuade <laughs> me to ignore her wishes, answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? Uh-oh. I didn't actually read the last dialogue of Plato, so we're just going to have to guess this one here. To make themselves like gods. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Obviously. How can I help you? Madame Sophia would like to trade her wisdom for yours. Well, I'm sure she would, and steal my secrets. What uh -oh. kind of idiot you take me for? Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your sincerity. No. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Hey, why don't you stop being such a jerk? Well. What? That didn't work? No way. Just a moment, monsieur. Yes? Have a nice evening. Hmm. Over here, monsieur Trottier. Yes? Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your <laughs> sincerity. I have to admit, I actually don't know if there's a point I can continue on in this game, so I'm gonna load our previous game. All right, I'm convinced. You can come along. Then and try let's this go, again. Partner. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. Suppose Trottier shows up. Bring him up. But what? A okay, I'll drop. Good. You. Okay, if you see you. All right, we're saving again so that I don't make the same mistake twice. Excuse me. 
Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I'm gonna hey, skip through so this since we've already heard this before. That's me. And I'm a just and and e Matrili I have awesome of what Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously. I didn't even hear the question for that one, way. so how can I help you? Another lucky guess. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I do need a new spirit guide in my life. So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Hmm, wonder what happened to his old spirit guide. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? So, uh, at this point I can choose whether or not I would like to go through reading his fortune as Sophia or I can try to do something with Indy. If I choose to read his fortune, I actually will have to make some random guesses that could very easily be wrong and then I'll get stuck in the game again. So keep him busy. I'm gonna choose something. to instead Alright then. Give me a minute while I set him up. <laughs> be indie. Oh Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me, it is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have the stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. Let's move on. Look into my eyes. The lights. What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. Nothing bad can happen with this plan. Oh, well, there I go again. <laughs> I'm afraid that I actually do have to go to Algiers first. So we're going to have to love this game. All right, again. I'm convinced. Then let. I don't, I'm not going to apologize too much because only Adam's watching me, so. Don't get any funny. You may. And I had to watch him try to drive a Mako into a. <laughs> into a gate for about an hour on end, so. Travel by map is always the most efficient means of travel. So the original reason we're supposed to come to Algiers is so we can talk to somebody named Omar Al-Jabbar. The real reason I'm coming to Algiers right now is not for that reason. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. I don't think that's a coincidence. See how much this is. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Appendi? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. All right, so I have the mask. And now I can <laughs> try to Try to work with Trottier for the third time to get his key. Well, so bring. I had no idea. Don't. But what is? Ash okay, I'll. Good. You. Okay. See. All right, much faster this time. Just a moment, please. 
Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Well, that's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the Book of Changes indicated who will, simply put, a change. And here, I bump into you. Ah, uh, what good fortune. <laughs> Book of Changes predicted a change. No way. Madame Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. Answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? Hmm. When darkness concealed the tall horns. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Maybe. Oh, bonsoir, monsieur. Let's try again. Over here, monsieur Trottier. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? Madame Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear being fooled by fakers. To be sure, you are a true believer. I definitely answer me this. am a true believer. Now, what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for Oricalcum? Ah. Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? That was the question I lucky guessed last time. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. I don't need this woman's counsel. I don't need anything, but I'm curious. So I'll do it. Please lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm gonna try something. All right. All right then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Indy's plan. Take two. I believe. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have this stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. I sense the presence of Nurab Sound nearby. So this path is a little a interesting. Time. Because we're basically... What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us. We're basically just being a complete dick to Trottier. If we had gone down other paths, it might not have seemed so bad. Oh, I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. Ooh. Aye. I gotta say, it was that ooh that put him over the edge. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. It's not like we were just there. But we were. I better put the flashlight back. Ooh darn. Can't steal too much, apparently. I better put the sheet back. Wait for me! I think I said not five minutes ago I wanted her to come with me, and I'm already trying to get rid of her.
Excuse me again. Yes? Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. What could possibly go wrong? Ah. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. In Let's line. get out of business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere. Deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? For I shame. admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. <laughs> Come, I'll let okay. you one and a couple of sturdy so. cows. The real question is, the guy already lied to us the moment we met him. A few minutes later. I'm surprised he's not saying, whew, suckers, as he walks by. So, did it work? You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. So much for those sturdy camels. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. What will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about this baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. I'll take it. Huh. <laughs> You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Not bad, considering that he just gave me the mask to begin with. Hey, this hasn't been signed by Lou Gehrig. It's some guy named Ron Gilbert. Who's somewhat infamous for creating my gallon. Excuse me. Yes? What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick. Only 20 dinars. You accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll trade you this autographed baseball for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Effendi, but I cannot make that trade. Although that shade of white is perfectly in my house. Hold the squab. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. <clears throat> Alright, so we're making a trade. We're getting something white. <coughs> yes. Pocus baseball. Can I trade my baseball for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something white would be nice. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about 
this beautiful white cane? It was Win Victoria. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Great. The paint's still wet. But is it the perfect shade of paint? Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Will you trade a squab for this finely crafted cane? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, Effendi, but I cannot Ooh. make that trade. Though it is a pleasant color. Hold the squab. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. You can't have too many other white objects. Here's hoping that the next one works. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my cane for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something white would be nice. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about this lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 one hundredths percent pure. All right. Soap. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Phew, this soap smells like garlic. Uh, what? How does that work? Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Squab for this bar of soap, what do you say? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, Effendi, but I cannot make Ooh. that trade. Though it is a pleasant color. Hold the squab, I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. All right. Getting oh so close. Excuse me again. Yes. Can I trade my soap for something else? Garlic soap Do probably you have anything is in better mind? than garlic cookies at the very least. Something white would be nice. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about these charming ivory earrings? They were carved from the tusks of a prehistoric mammoth. I'll take them. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Hey, this isn't real ivory. Eh, maybe he won't know that. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. If you give me a squab, I'll give you these ivory earrings. Hmm. Hmm. Come this on. gift will save my yes. life, Effendi. And it's so color coordinated. He <laughs> have a squab. Thank you. Hey, it's Max. Squab, huh? <laughs> Looks like a barbecued pigeon. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You could say that. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. That's quite the job he has. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. I do. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. Excuse me. Yes? Nice knives. Yes. They were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Sorry to bother. <gasps> no bother. I just wish the volunteer would step forward to assist me. The accident. Listen. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Do it, and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. 
please, it's perfectly safe. Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. What I don't could go know. wrong? Those knives look dead. Oof. Look you, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. Mm. Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. Ew. You can't expect to have uh, too, too much work ahead of him if he's just going to be giving away all his lives every time somebody volunteers. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. Good thing I have a ticket. Oops. Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Alright. Good thing I have this knife. So We're I can free. actually use this balloon. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Alright, so we don't actually know where we're going, but we do have a map. What do you make of this map? Hmm... This X is... to the south. That's about it. Thanks for the information. Alright. So we head south. Stay here and guard the balloon. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is slightly to the north and a little to the west. Thanks for the information. Not bad. Took us two tries to find the X. Not bad at all. Now we just gotta land there. Oh! Did we land? Stay here and guard the balloon. Nope. Well, 
guess we're gonna have to go this, the longer way. That's not good. Ow, I think better landings. Him too. Look what we found an abandoned dig site. <laughs> Abandoned except for that Wait, one guy that we just killed. I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! How do you still Sophia! trust this guy when he's uh -oh. leading you into holes? The engine's missing a spark plug and a distributor cap. It won't come out. Alright. Well, let's actually check out the dig site then. So I hear if you wait around here long enough, Indy's eyes will adjust and you can actually see in the dark. I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to feel my way around. Hmm. Pretty sure there's a switch on this thing, but I can't find it. So we'll come back later. Because I already know it's auto gas. That's enough. The jar is full. Is that all it takes to get gas out of a truck? Put a hook of hose up to it? And it just starts flowing out? Seems a little strange to me. Alright, metal thing. Open the cap. Now it's open. Look at that. It's a gas filler pipe. I've emptied the jar into the pipe. Now we just have to find the on-off switch. Much better. It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've seen that before. Yuck, yuck. Oops. If this ever held a secret, somebody beat me to it. Well darn. It's a particularly sharp ship rib. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Alright, now we have to figure out how to actually use these things. So. Many a post sunstone suffice if morning light warmed the tall horns. 
Well, I do have a sunstone, so let's hope that this is considered one of those many outposts. Now look at that. I thought you were going to leave me in there. Believe me, I was tempted. Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. A distributor cap. It fell on my head when I sank into the hole. And that's not all. Look! What is it? It's an amber fish on a string. I can see that. What does it do? How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Our amber Look fish where the is sunstone is centered thing? on the mural. The island of Crete. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find a greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go! Alright, so we still need a spark plug. Hoping there's one in here that I can steal. I better turn the generator off first. Yeah, maybe. There's the it's a generator. Switch. Oh, there it is. Standing in front of it. It's too heavy to pick up. Pick up ceramic thing. I know it's a spark plug. I just looked at it. So we're missing a spark plug and a distributor cap, and I just gained a spark plug and a distributor cap, and also an amber fish on a string. Which is clearly what I needed. What do you know? A perfect fit. It fits! Alright. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. Please be usable. All right, off to Crete. Traveling by map, of course. And I think I'm gonna call it a day there. Thanks everybody for watching.